so in the previous video we have created all of the variables and we have assigned the scripts as you can see now in this video we will allow the police ai to walk from one waypoint to the other so right here at the top first of all we will say that if the player is not in vision radius and also the player is not in the shooting radius and the wanted level script dot level one is equals to false also let's make the other level to false as well so i will just simply copy this and paste it four times now the first one will be the if the level one is equals to false and then we will say or if the level 2 is equals to false then or level 3 is equals to false and then after this or level 4 is equals to false and then the last one will be the level 5 so we will say or level 5 so right here we are simply saying that if the player is not in vision and shooting radius and also none of the five stars are activated it means that if the player doesn't do any crime then what we want to do right here we will call a function which will be by the name of walk and now after the update function right here let's say walk and make this a void or actually a public void then as i told you that we will make the police ai walk from one waypoint to the other whenever the player doesn't do any crimes so for moving the player between a different waypoints we already typed that code in our traffic ai in the character navigator script right here as you can see we have this walk function so we can just simply copy all of this if condition from here and then on the police officers right here we will simply paste it and as you know that in the previous video we have uh, typed all of the variable names for this as you can see destination and then destination reached so this code will be similar to the character navigator script and from the character navigator script we can also copy this locate destination as well so just copy that from there and right here we will simply paste it and let me set the code up like this so once you copy this if condition from the character navigator script and this function then right here as you can see we have the variable name similar to the function names okay stop speed as you can see right here we have the stop speed because these two are similar to each other so if you are using any name then make sure that you type that variable names right here in here as well for example moving speed stop speed destination and the destination reached and once you type these two functions then what we will do we will create a police waypoint navigator script in which that script will tell the police game object that what will be that police current waypoint so for this get back to unity click on police npc and right here create a new c sharp script by the name of police waypoint navigator press enter then click on police officer and let's assign this police waypoint navigator script right here now let's open this up and also from the traffic ai let's open the waypoint navigator script because the police waypoint navigator and the waypoint navigator script will be similar to each other because as you know that we have already created the traffic AI for our game so now for moving the police officers in waypoints the code 
will be similar to our traffic AI. So now right here from this waypoint navigator, we can just copy these variables, the awake function, start function, and then this whole update function. So copy it. As you can see, copy all of this code and then get back to the police waypoint navigator script, remove the start and update function and right here, just simply paste it. Now right here, instead of the correct navigator script, we need a reference to our police officer script. So right here, type police officer as well. This is the first change which we will be doing in this script and then if you check our code then all of the other things will be the same so now we can just simply save the script get back to unity now if you click on police officer right here we need to type and fill all of these variables so the moving speed for this police officer will be 0 0.9 the running speed will be 2.2 then right here we will assign the player layer right here and then the vision radius will be 30 shooting radius will be 5 right here it needs the wanted script and as you know for now the wanted script is attached to our player game object so we can just simply drag and drop our player game object right here and it will automatically select this wanted level script then it needs the police officer script so drag and drop the police officer script in there and now it needs the current waypoint so for this police officer the current waypoint will be this one which is waypoint 42 so let's click on police officer and add the waypoint 42 right in there and once that is done let me close the gizmos and if you click on police officers as you can see everything is set up now let's play the game and now as you can see the police waypoint is now changing as you can see the police officer is now going in the backward direction because we have a code for that in which we assign different directions for each of the AI character and that code we applied to the police officer so that's why the police officer is now moving in this direction as you can see the current waypoint of the police officer is changing okay it means that now the police officer is able to walk around the map as you can see but the police officer doesn't have the animations but the animations is for the future for now you can just notice that the police officer is walking perfectly fine So in this way you can create your own police officer AI and with the working of the police officer done now in the next video we will continue our work on the police officer even further.